He brought him on a Lord Styles Rosenberg. A lot going on because it's Men of Monday. Yeah, Erica Men. boy. <laughs> you know, you didn't even know this Men of Monday thing was a thing, did you? Of course I did. Hashtag Men of Monday. Of course I knew that. All right, so a couple things we got to deal with. Erica Men. You're in People Magazine right now. You and Bow Wow cuddled on in your new, was his house in L.A.? No, What's that's happening? his house. His in house a, in, in Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, oh, that was in like, Atlanta. Yeah, that's the, the main fort for his side. My main fort for my side is in Miami. So we opened the doors to the ATL fort. So you guys have two homes that you share, kind of. But you own Basically, the Miami one. Because I have my original place. Okay. And then he has his Atlanta house. My my house is in, Sun, uh, in Florida. His is in Atlanta. So... And so where does he film CSI? Where is that? In team? L.A. So it, we have a place together in L.A. So you figure, my oh mom, Lordy. what it is is he has his mom and I have my mom. Mm. So, so we set up shop, you know, before we were together in different. So know. where do you guys now spend most of your time? L.A. Most of your time in L.A. L.A., yeah. Do you like L.A.? I just got, we just got rid of our New York place, so now it's officially just L.A. Oh, wow. Before That's the movies, Before we had um, L.A. and New York, and then Miami and Atlanta. So we, got, like, we had one in each city, basically, and now we're... Downsizing. <laughs> I mean, they're, getting, they're, they're getting ready for the wedding. Yeah, now it's official. What's the date? I can't tell you, but you'll you'll get to say the date. Okay, but you don't want it to be public. Um, I'm sure once you get your invite, you're gonna freaking not tell. if you tell me not to. I listen. We keep a lot of secrets. If you say Rosenberg can keep a secret too. No. I, yes, I can. No, he don't. I'm the secret master. No, he can't. I'm gonna. I'm sending his invite to his wife. By the way, that's just because you want to text my wife. By the way, I knew about <laughs> how long did I hold on to Amber with having a baby? I knew that for well, seven months. Well, that's because Amber is like your road dog. Not dog, back then. Dog. She wasn't back then. We were just cool. She just happened to like. I happened to find out. Never said a word. Well, that's because I am probably, a vault. You probably wanted to hit it. Well, of course, I'm so straight. You're trying to earn your your, your trust stripes. <laughs> Erica, are you guys gonna are you guys gonna shoot the wedding? Is this something that's gonna be? We um, were approached by it, and it just didn't fit. Who approached you for it? VH1. VH1. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are you it over VH1? Fit. Is this a wrap? Um, it just didn't fit. Like what the offer was, it was just so like, it wasn't enough money. It was yeah, it was unfair. <laughs> so somebody else took it. What does that mean? Somebody else from Love and Hip Hop took it. Oh, oh, took the idea of doing well, a, a wedding. The spot that was the offered. opportunity. Yandy, Yandy, yeah, yeah, Yandy. We love Yandy. You yeah, like Yandy? She's cool. Oh man, she's cool. That was weird. Daggers. She's cool. Come she on. says she's cool. Guys, calm down. But Yandy Everybody's feels like cool. the type of person you either like or you don't like her. Like she's just. I don't. I, I disagree. I think Yandy's not a hateable person at all. That's what I'm saying. Well, no, you but can't I, hate on somebody that like is perfected throughout the seasons. No matter how bad life is. What do you mean? She always looks amazing, you're saying? Doesn't matter. No matter what happens. People go to jail and she still looks flawless. I don't understand very it. true. That's <laughs> very true. I don't true. understand it. She uh, always so that's, looks the, that's the frustration. Is you're like, yo, y'all made her thing look a certain no, way. No, it's no frustration. It's over and done with. It's just now that I know better, I'm like, damn. So did you ever feel had like I had a BFF? Her, that I was, was going to tell you that since her relationship <laughs> with Mona that's Scott Young, um, she was always favored and she always got it her way. And she I always mean, good. when you're on the inside, it's easier for you to like, you know, make things work to your favor. So mm-hmm. now the reunions, mm-hmm. um, Laura Styles, how did this play out? I didn't watch. You said you've seen yeah, some. Yeah, I saw some of it. Um, Erica was not on set with everybody else. She had her own exclusive interview with Mona Scott Young. Explain she, this. I didn't want to do the reunion. I didn't. Why? Because what I had to say didn't need to be said. You know, you really didn't want to know my, the truth. And, about? And once America heard the truth, they hated it. The truth about what? I mean, you know what About it, the show, the yeah, brand, the... Uh, the show is... So, see, I didn't want to do the reunion at all because I just felt like it was pointless, you mm-hmm. know? I didn't have much nice things to say as it is. You know, I sat there all season and watched people bash me, try to ruin my character, brought up my son. Mm. Um, I've had, you know... People come together just because you know they're and the only thing they have in common. Rich is, and sin, yes, is that you know now they're my enemies and not just that, Chrissy. You know what I mean? So Other it people. was mm. like there was scenes, episodes that weren't even in, but I was being discussed. Yeah, for the most part, it became a let's all get on Erica Mena. Right. Mm. So then when it came time to sit down, you know, I was like, you sure you want to hear what I have to say? And they say yes. So what? Damn sure, okay, what I have to Maybe say. you have to embrace being the villain, Erica. Oh, I do. I feel like the um, I feel like Mayweather sometimes. I feel like um, what's his face, the crazy guy, um, the basketball player, Dennis Rodman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I really do. You know how like Mayweather, no matter how many times he wins, there's always a group of people that just hate him. Yeah. 
I feel like that. Okay, so can we talk about uh, the situation between you, between you and Chrissy Moreau? I always felt like Chrissy was brought in. Uh huh. Just, just for the fact that yeah. she wanted to. All right, like, if we're gonna talk no, about was. this person because I don't know who this person is. I just know you used to do a funny voice. You got to talk like Chrissy Monroe. We're gonna do love and hip hop reenactment. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna talk like Chrissy Monroe. You narrate because you know some of the storyline, right, Rosenberg? Okay. And then you just play yourself. Okay. Clean. All right, start it. So, out. um, earlier, earlier this season on Love and Hip Hop New York, a character from someone's past appeared on the scene. Her name is Chrissy Monroe. Erica, why you act like you don't know me? You used to work for me, Erica. You were an escort at one time, Erica. Why huh? are you denying me? What are you talking about? Work for you? Work for you how? Erica, I got pictures proving that we go way back. Yes, you're my number one fan. You come to a lot of my video sets, of course. <laughs> Erica, quit trying to act like me and you wasn't BFFs at one point. Oh, come on. You need a storyline that bad? Erica, I'm the queen bee. I'm the main bitch. You know bitch. what? Better yet? Let me get Amina on you. Mina, get up. <laughs> <laughs> so sp- Amina wouldn't fight anybody speak ever. To, speak to what she's saying. Oh my God. There, uh, <laughs> okay, let's br- let's give it a breakdown. All right. I'm not gonna mention names because I really don't want to embarrass nobody. But let's go all the way back to my Terror Squad days. There's Jeez. wives in the crew, yes. right? The associate of one of the wives is how I was introduced to Chrissy. Right. You told us that last time, I believe. That's right. So long ago. So in passing, Chrissy's like. Every like most strippers, they travel wherever. Club to club, right. this to that. Whatever. The dude in the Yankee hat, always in the club, always in a strip club, whatever. So I've known, you know, seen her throughout. Anytime we see each other, because of that introduction, you know, I never not acknowledged her. We would take pictures. The set of All I Do Is Win. She has this picture that she keeps posting on Instagram. Let's clarify that. That's on the All I Do Is Win DJ Khaled video, like literally on set. So. And that's about, that's what, six years ago, five years ago? Probably longer than More, that. More, I think. So anyway, the whole point of me bringing it up is that that's where she comes from. We've never been friends. We never, you know what I mean? It was never any, you see someone in passing, they want a picture, you take a picture. You know what I mean? Was there ever a scenario that this Chrissy Monroe lady did an event, hired you for the event to come host or anything? Is that what she's confusing with you used to yeah, work I for just her don't under, I don't understand why she's maybe, so <laughs> mad at you. Maybe, maybe like, she, I don't understand where the, where the hate comes I, from. I don't know either. All I know is that had she not had this fabric, She wouldn't have got a check. She wouldn't have been from the first episode right. throughout. That's right. You know, I, I heard that she was trying to get on Love & Hip Hop before and yeah, denied well, it. Well, at one point she was claiming Little C's from Junior Mafia. And when it came time to like bring him on, he didn't want to be known or affiliated with her. So... That never actually happened until she finally found Chinks to actually want to claim her publicly, and then that's how right, she eventually, right. you know. Chris Monroe. Exactly. Anything else from Love and Hip Hop? She won't sit on the reunion. She didn't want to do the reunion. They gave you a different set. What about, isn't there a part two to this reunion? Yes, yeah. yes, it's coming. You're not on tonight. that either. So um, one thing, um, Erica, that I saw was like, I don't know, it kind of, like, I feel like you and Sin, it's sad that you guys aren't cool. You know what I mean? You guys... Like, when you shot certain episodes or scenes where you guys were real cool with each other and be like, look, I wish you the best, things didn't work out, yeah. let's each go our separate ways. But then in the reunion, you guys were taking shots at each other, so you're not on good terms right now. Um, Sin purposely befriended all my enemies. And this is someone who claims she didn't want to be a part of Love & Hip Hop. So I just feel like the she intentions... She hurt, bro. That's hurt yeah. from what? She's been... She's been with this guy that she's been claiming now for the whole. Let's go all the way back to the twenty first birthday party. I don't know what you're talking about. It was on. It was on the show. Oh, no. it was I on the show. Her, Still doesn't know what you're talking about. I threw her a twenty first birthday party. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, this is where you know everything kind of. I was so into her that I didn't really like. She didn't go home with me that night. She went home with him. So she was like literally playing this whole, you know, like rollout. You know, what really bothered me the most is that. We would be front to face to face, and there was no issue. But as soon as she spoke to one of the producers, she was boohoo and crying and like saying this whole, mm. "I stole and this that." She has money from me, and and I think what really made people feel sorry for her is her claiming that I this her line that I. Well, you're the villain. It's easy for somebody right. to feel sorry but for you. But this is the thing: how do you owe somebody money when it's like that money came from? If anybody I owe money is Amina Peter, the. You can't handle my mouth T-shirts. That's oh, what true. I started. True. That's what I started the her line from. So I don't understand where Sin comes in claiming that she owes 
she's older a portion of it. I just feel like, you know, she really played herself on that. But we don't really want to talk about her no more because there's nothing to talk about. You're over it. She's over it. I am. And so no more love and hip hop is out of your life. After, it's always after... it's always gonna be a part of my life. I, this whole journey, it's been a rough one, but it definitely has brought me to where I'm at. You know, it, it helps me reflect on the person I don't want. You know, don't want to be anymore. Mm. And um, I will always, you know, acknowledge it because that's a platform that really helped me connect to America. It just sucks that the platform that I was given, you know. Because I'm the villain, I never got a chance to tell my real story. That's mm -hmm. why I think when they got to meet my son in that one scene, people really, really felt because they're like, oh, this is why this girl goes so hard. Had I been giving more of those moments like Andy, I probably would be like Andy. <laughs> is Bow Wow one of the reasons that you're quitting Love and Hip Hop? No. At all? Mm -mm. So he was cool with you being on the show? Yeah. 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 He was actually like, you sure? Like, Yeah. I, I kind of decided to quit during the middle of it. Once I took a minute, I'm like, yo, this person's casted. Sin is still shooting because she's crying wolf. And we got one crying that I used to escort. And, and it, it's just, it was just so much. And then I had to fight for comments that were made about my son to be edited out. You know, it was just too much. It was mm. just like, uh, this, is, this is not, like, you don't want to go to your nine to five every day and feel like, you know what I mean? Like, what's going to be against you? What bomb are they going to drop? Do you feel like the producers on Love & Hip Hop, Mona, or whomever, have been through so much with you? Because you used to wild out. Like, you used to wild out. You was, there was a period I had every right to. But even before... I will do a lipstick launch, and they'll bring drama so I can fight on my lipstick got launch. Got it. You know, I had a performance that was supposed to be my moment, and you got a nigga lying on his dick. You, you know what I mean? I feel like every moment that I had to have that moment of redemption... None of those people in that room wanted me to have that. But you don't take any responsibility for your wild actions in the yeah, past. Yeah, I take responsibility because I had to. I had to act that way. I mean, what do you want? What do you expect? You yeah. know, like what people don't understand is that when you go on set, half of the time you don't know who you shooting with. Hmm. You don't know who you shooting with. You don't know what's the scenario. Nothing. So you go to work oblivious. All you know is what how you need to dress and that your hair and makeup's done. You know, it, it's. It's draining. So now what? I saw a photo, a photo mm -hmm. I think it was on your Instagram, or something to do with Playboy. Yeah, I did my Playboy show. Mm. What, what, what are you? Bow wow, you my man and all that. You know what I'm saying? My boy, that's your woman. But you're going to enjoy the Playboy shoot regardless. We're going to have to talk about it. I saw some of the pictures. She looked really, really good. But none, none of it was nude, right? Mm -mm. None of it. Oh, yeah. That, that, that the latex. <laughs> what? Well, forget it. Then there's yeah, nothing to talk no, about. She had like shit is whack. latex top. But I mean, that, that was the whole point. I always wanted to sit there. <laughs> well, of course you did. So why didn't you get naked? Because I wanted to put a spin on it. Yeah, you spun the magazine out of my hand into the garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> that's the spin. You want to see the spin? It's like this. But you know, know what? Spin it, it right actually, to the trash. Believe it or not, it got a lot of women to actually embrace Playboy again. They're like, oh my God, it's not It's tasteful. Pure. Yeah, yeah she look really good. Is there a part two where you get naked? Um, do we, Do you ever get naked? I mean, let's go. What's happening? Hey, bro, you're such a pervert. He's a man, and you're a hot chick. We want to see you naked. No offense, Bow. I mean, Bow Wow knows people want to see his girl naked. Guess yeah, what? You just he had wants a her naked baby. too. Which makes me... Even a man. more thirsty. I just thought that you would be like a little more nicer. No. What? No, he hasn't changed. He's the no. same scumbag. Yeah, what? come on now. Same, I same old you. E. Listen, half your life I done seen you in your in bikinis on flyers and parties and things like that. That's now different. It's, now it's time. Let's go. We need to take this up a notch. Get this big check, man. <laughs> take it to Nipple need to pop out. We need an areola or something. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. So what, what else is so going on with not, you? Wait, hold on. Stop I rushing. Mean, that's never happening. I the, I'm never saying never. If the check is right, right. it's happening. It's not even that. It, I think when it, if you decide that, you have to be at a moment like, you know, like a moment. You know, as a woman, you probably have a moment within yourself. Like, like when Kim did it. Like she felt like she wanted to show her body post-pregnancy. Is that what you're talking about? Like she wanted to just... Kim did play break the internet. Pregnancy. No, break that break the internet, showing her ass in full the, front. The paper you know, magazine. The paper magazine. Out the uh, magazine cover. She. Did. I mean, you know what? Believe it or not, in my way, I look at it as kind of empowering. I don't care what nobody says. Being naked and being no, hot. No, being the fact that you're 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 woman enough to embrace it. Like I think us as women, we get so bashed and downplayed of what we do. If we was to turn the light on you men, it's like oh, we're you scumbags. Guys exactly. No, so we're dirtbags. I think it's empowering but that's been for a woman to. If she was to do that, it's empowering. Stop because being she worried about us. 
Exactly. That's we're why. Because Kim what we do. clearly doesn't care what none of us think. Yeah, so nah. I think that in its own right is. So you will get naked problem. soon. If I was, if I wanted to, yeah. I love it. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to. If she wanted to, she would. Now, on the Bow Wow note, he has some things to say about Empire, right? Where he came out and was basically like, that show stereotypical. I don't want to do a show like that. I'm doing a show like CSI, which is um, CSI Cyber. I think, I think they took it the wrong way, just like they took the Chrissy Cromit the wrong way. I think people just want, some, especially social media. Well, Empire was such a big show that it looked as if Bow Wow was just hating, hating on Empire no, to hate on Empire. No. He actually watches it with me. Dread, drop. Drip, 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 drip. Mm. I love oh, cookie. <laughs> so yeah, you, so it wasn't that se- so it wasn't that serious for him. He was just saying he was just trying to pick no, up. I that's think, not I what think, he's. You know what? Right he he kept getting that on his newsfeed, like you know, people asking, and then it was just a little bit more frustrating because he's like, "Yo, I'm promoting this show, and you guys keep you know bringing me to a show that I have no parts of. You know, that would be stereotypical, t- typical for me to play a rapper when I'm right. already a rapper. And I think that's really what his, you know, what he really meant to say. It just probably didn't come out that way. Got it. But he was you know? frustrated as a but, rapper to feel like, why y'all trying to yeah, make me be on Empire? He's playing since, since Empire came out. He's been getting like, like even from like the big people, like this part should have been yours and da 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 da, and you know, and he's like, but this part is mine. You uh, know what I mean? Like, let's mm, talk about my yeah. CSI show, you know? And you know, I felt like he kind of felt like people were trying to, you know. Listen, the, the show off. Empire, we all like it. I watch it, but I've called it trash from the beginning because it's supposed to be trashy like a soap opera, right? It's supposed to be. I mean, it's I, supposed I, I, if to you be... ask me, it's like the best version of Love and Hip Hop ever yes. in life. There That's what Love and Hip Hop's supposed to be. But like. it's it's real actors, some, a lot, mostly. Um, the music is goodish. And people I like the music. Uh, okay. Dollar, dollar, bill, y'all. in the <laughs> I'm telling you, I love that show. I love it. No, but it. people like the show. So I think, you know, um, I've been hard on it because I know you put black people, music, and violence and a little bit of relationship stuff on television, it's always successful. Yeah, but if you do it in the white world, there's like, it's the, there's the same thing. No, what Nashville, is it? Days of Our show? Lives Days do of our that lives, every day. That, right, or the so novellas. Just, it doesn't matter what or color. The novellas. I think people just need it's to embrace that. It's just that there's that. so few of black shows that, I mean, there's more now, and it's just that that's what we're always doing, it feels like. It always feels like there's a rapper, some music, some baby mamas, but, and mean, some murder. I it's, mean, it's the culture we live in today. It's just us embracing Everybody it. doesn't live in that culture, man. It's regular black people. No, out but why music. is it the highest rated? Because if you don't live in it, you want to be a part of it. People so, do like seeing it. it no, people and, do and, like seeing like it. And that's why, too, like, you know, um, everyone who's invested on love and hip-hop, sometimes I feel bad because it's like, there's times I want to tell them, like, put two and two together. Like, you know what I mean? But... People are invested in it. That's all they know. And whatever they see on TV, they believe. So, Another no, People like bullshit. Let's just be honest. People like <laughs> shit. Shit is entertaining. Well, There's a lot of music we play on High 97. It's shit. It is shit. And it's entertaining. People find... It's, it's very true. Let's be honest. People like fast food. It's shit. It is shit food. It is, tastes great. Yeah. And you know it's killing you. And people go eat it. True. I just want to give credit to... Uh, Bow Wow because when Bow Wow came out and said that his name was Shad Moss I said get the fuck out of here <laughs> my man I love you I love you as Bow Wow you are Bow Wow ain't no one change your name Whistle. and then I'm sitting there maybe 8, 10 months a year later and it's like CSI with Shad, Shad Moss. Moss. I was like, you <laughs> son of a bitch, you actually pulled it off. Yeah. He actually did it. You know how many rappers have tried to be like, yo, I'm no longer going to be so-and-so. I'm just show so-and-so. And then you see it, it's like starring Snoop Dogg. I think, I Not think, Bow Wow. He did it. Yeah, no, I think if people like actually spend a good day with Bow, he's so advanced, like. You could sit there and like pick his brain because he just and he's a talker. Like he he's loves, been in the game since he was yeah. twelve or eleven, like, nine, whatever baby, it is. Yeah. Like I've learned so much from him. It's crazy. How often is he here? Is he here at all anymore? Like um, every blue? Not as much anymore because we gave the, the up our gone. condo. Yeah. Um. But he's actually going to be working on a movie in New York soon. So. Does he ever look at the Fast and Furious and the amount of money that shit is making and go? Fuck. Well, he's part of it. Yeah, he's, he was. He's in the, in the, in the new last movie. one. Yeah, I just saw it. He he's in seven. Yeah, he's back. Yeah, <laughs> it's just it's a small part, but he's uh, in it. Yeah, he, nah, he's but in he it. was. He had his. And we went to the premiere. It was. He a was dope. in what two? Was he in, in two, to- three? Was it Tokyo was it? Drift? Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift. Yeah. So they went back. Um, the recent one that just dropped. They went back to Tokyo, and it just happened. Tokyo Drift, as it's known, the Godfather of the Fast series. 
Is it really? Nope. No one says that. What? Tokyo Drift is the one that's made fun of the most, actually. Thoughts. I don't mean that as a diss to Bow Wow. I just mean that's no, the one that people make a lot of Tokyo Drift jokes. Yeah, you do. You dis- you up here no, not Bow Wow. Right. Do you think, you think, well, Yo, by the way, Shad Moss will slap you think shit Shad, out of my You think Shad Bow Wow Moss walked out of Tokyo Drift, the same man who just criticized Empire for being too lowbrow, was like, now this Tokyo Drift is a film. <laughs> I think he knows what he was doing. He got himself a nice check. And now look at him. Now he's on CSI. What was the basketball movie Bow Wow was in? When oh, was like, Mike. Like, yeah, like Mike. Yeah. Like Mike. That's classic. Yeah, he's done a lot about. Listen, let me tell you that about that guy. He's an entertainer. He's been doing this whole life. No, he's an he's an, an impressive. Does impressive Bow, is Bow Wow putting out an album anytime soon? He's actually working on some music, right? As a matter of fact, you go on his Instagram. He's like leaking some clips and stuff. He it's is. gonna be hard for him. Between like, him and ludicrous. Amina, I've been like in the middle of them working on their music. And yo, I've crazy. been asking Bow Wow to come up for a little while. Last time we was on the phone, I was like, "Yo, get out of here!" And he was like, "When I get done filming," and I said to him, like I said to Ludacris, "It's gonna be fucking hard out here when you put out that music. It is hard." Well, because you were so famous in a specific time in people's lives mm-hmm. that then when you try to re-enter their lives at a different point, they only associate you with then, and that is that is t- tough. But Bow has actually always been a really good rapper too. A, a sort of slept on good rapper too. Well, he's he's working with JD nonstop, and um, he has like a lot of good stuff actually. Believe it or not, one thing about Bow is like he knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's gonna make his money. Yeah, he's gonna make his money. (laughs) And that CSI, those CSI shows stay around for a long time. And then, and then, you know, he's not dumb. Like he has movies right now. He's about to start working on. So there's always soundtracks. So whether you play it on the radio, you know what I mean? There's just you just gotta know what you're doing in this game. So you're also checking out some scripts and working on some movie stuff, also, right? Mm -hmm. Can you talk about any of that? Um, well, one of them is actually (laughs) something that you guys are gonna be hearing about real soon. Do you play a loud, violent Puerto Rican girl from the Bronx that stabs her boyfriend over child support? <laughs> no, but I'm in jail. I, oh, she's oh, in jail. Close, there we go. Close, close. Perfect. Are you going to be an orange or the new black? I can't say anything. Uh, that, that is That perfect. would either have been no or yes. I can't say anything. My publicist is looking at me right now. With the, okay. No, but that's what I'm saying. The fact that you're not saying anything. Did you just guessed that out of the yeah, blue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, she said sense. jail, so I just said, okay. Major. Do you have a girlfriend in jail? We get to see more girl on girl Erica Mina action. Woo! After I love that. You know what? I've seen it in person. It's good. If I remember right here, to I'll all never girl, forget it. To all the girls that ever want a girl, just stay with a girl that actually likes girls from jump because they always go back anyway. Sage advice. <laughs> yeah. So no girl ever again for me. That's it. You're done with women. No. Unless well, ba- yeah. Unless Bow Wow wants Yeah, to. married. I'm done. But you were talking about third parties or little... Well, we were talking about your threesome, oh, okay. Laura. Okay. Different. <laughs> different. <laughs> How soon Damn we forget. Erica. How soon we Damn it, Erica. Damn it, Erica. You would let Laura Styles in with you and Bow Wow. No. Listen, the way I feel about that man, ain't no woman coming near him. As she should. None. That's how I know I really love him. Right. Because before I was like, eh. Whatever. Would you Take ever out. would you ever turn a blind eye though? Like if Bow Wow goes on the road again and he goes out on the road for four months, when he comes back, are you gonna ask him what he did every single night? Or are you just gonna I'm actually um not that kind of girlfriend. If I have like proof, oh man. So but you just don't want proof. Don't let there be proof. Yeah. Don't let there be proof. Yeah. You're not gonna ask, but if, don't let there be proof. If this proof is a snap episode instantly. Is it because it's a it's more of like an ego thing or no, more of a it's respect thing? I love him to death, and I'd be damn if he cheats on me. Bow wow! Public service announcement: <laughs> You're in trouble, my dude. Don't <laughs> cheat on me. Well, you know what? Yo, Guess what? <laughs> we was talking earlier today on the show about how hard to break up. You ain't never breaking up. No, that's it. We're done. No. And, but guys, good news. <laughs> good news. That's Bow Wow's it. gotten a lot out of his system since he was 12 years old. All no, right? he good has. News. A he lot. Has. He's like, lived we, 50 we, lifetimes We actually already. talk and compare stories. I'm like, no, my chick was bad or no. He tells you about like being oh, with what? Sierra and all that. <laughs> that's one thing. There's 50,000 more. But I'm no, just saying. Don't play my I mean, no. like that. Play him. That's not playing. That's pro- picking him up. No. That's a loop. No. 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 That, he's not community. No. That's a loop. 50,000. Hopefully you bag like 40 a year for 10 years. 40? That's like, that's like that saying, nice. that's obnoxious. Nice. That's like a black Twitter rumor. The black Twitter he, spent a rumor. Hold on. He has been a rock star since he was 12. Are you living in denial? Yeah, but Bow Wow's he, a rock star and yeah. always has been. Bow Wow's been bagging a joint. I bet you there was several years consecutive. <laughs> he bagged a different joint three or four nights a week. I know what age he finally had sex, and years. it's not what the age you guys probably think it is. Oh Uncle guys, Snoop got it, him some pussy when he was 15, 13, something. No. <laughs> 
Who cares, man? Who cares? Leave that alone. I don't want to believe it. You know what? No. I, I, thought I, was, getting married. I thought I was That's giving him props. Man. I don't want to get this guy in trouble. No. I don't I don't know the stories. I'm just guessing. No, Ebro, That's I'm it. starting to think that like you don't want me to get married, huh? Of course we do. <laughs> I'm, I'm listen, whatever y'all about to do, <laughs> just be safe. I don't want nobody to die. <clears throat> Why would anyone die? Right? Because when she finds out the truth. Oh, oh, oh. Well, well, I know the truth. That he's Will Chamberlain and Jace? <laughs> He's not Will Chamberlain. He did not have sex with 100,000 women. Oh, my God. Look, if, listen, if you want to tell that, that, that part of his life is done. Now. Yes, is. that part of his and life he is loves done. You now. By the way, if, by the way, if Erica, you, Erica, I contact. You're going to have me text I him contact, right now. Like, Erica, Erica, lock I in, contact, focus. Okay. All contact. that's over and done with. Hey, Erica, by the way, if you wanted to be with a guy who would barely Ooh. be with any w women, you should have been with a fucking loser like me. What are you doing? Like, there are losers galore out there. I've had sex with like 14 women in my entire life. Why be with you when I could be with your wife? Touché. We'll wrap this up now. You know what? Erica, man, I don't even man on Monday. I love man. I love bow out, guys. Congratulations. Whenever your wedding is, congratulations. Thank you. We you are guys are going to come. Yes. We will be there. And congratulations um, on Playboy. And congratulations for moving on to another chapter in your life away you. from yeah. the TV Can I shows just, and things. I have to, I have to PSA this. Do it. It's been annoying me um, only because my intentions were not that at all. Hmm. For whatever reason, um, a lot of women are taking that statement about what I said to Chrissy really, really personal on the effect on the, you know, you which one? What was the statement? You can't have kids to save your life. Oh, yeah, that was a low blow. It was very harsh, but it was a direct dagger to someone who not only been defaming my character up to that very but point. But your son in But in she has talk. also, like, from Thanksgiving, to, she's been on social media ranting on, you know, on scenes, bringing him up and, you know, when they asked me how I felt about her, that was my moment to kind of express that. And um, after I said that statement, I also explained right after, this is a woman who talked about my kid, you know, it is what it is kind of thing. Um, that was unfortunately edited out. And because of that, a lot of women are assuming that, that I was, you know, kind of doing a statement that was a generic one. And I really, really don't want people to think that. Um, I might have, I could have reworded things better I guess of you course. say um but in that moment as a mother that was my moment to like make her feel just as bad as I felt to have to sit back and watch someone just talk about my kid all over social media and on Listen. scenes and things of that nature so I just want to apologize to all the women who really really thought you know that that was a, a dagger at them because people people finally, aren't going to understand what you that no one else has gone through a moment where there's a camera running. You've had someone who's been at you forever, and you want to hurt them that bad because they've hurt you that much. And everyone would know, I believe. I know that you're crazy, and I love you, <laughs> and that you would not mean that to offend women no, who are I not able to have children. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not that girl, and I'm. I. I Obviously, I'm reckless with my words. I was and just stuff. about to say that. I am, but and she will own the fact that you reckless with your mouth. I you own say some that. Wild I shit. own that, and I also own the right that if I offended anybody, that I owe you an apology because that was not my intention at all. You know, um, so walking away from this, I just want to give that and clarify that to the audience, especially the people who have been invested into this whole journey. Um, if I ever let you down by making that statement, you know, forgive me because that was not my intention. So, would you like to take this moment to say something else to Chrissy? Equally as mean, but not offensive to everyone else. No, I think I think everything that I've said. <laughs> no, what I said that day, I absolutely. That's a tough challenge. I'm not apologizing for what I said to her. I'm apologizing for the women who yeah, took no, offense I get it, to that. I, get it. You know? I just didn't know if you had something um, else in the tank. Maybe you wanted to, you know, what I mean, go no, crazy one more time. Everything that I have said on the reunion, I still stand by it. I probably could have said it better, but that's not Erica. So, fuck it. So fuck that's it. that's another shirt for the her line, by the way. Fuck it. It's me, Erica. Now Erica is crashing people's prom. Yeah, I did it last year on the like on. Is a this humbug. safe? Is this safe? <laughs> it's safe. I did it last year on the humbug, and it was like the best experience ever. I personally never went to my prom, so I kind of want to like you know do it again. But this time I'm bringing VH1 along with me, and then I have the Nicki Minaj collection. You know. Um, so what's that mean? Like the women get clothes, the young girls get clothes from Nicki Minaj. We were clothes. basically invading the prom. Um, I'll probably pick whoever the submission person is as, you know, be my date. Um, and I'm going to bring, you know, celebrity guests to kind of help and bring me 
gifts and bags. Wait, wait, oh, wait. that's so cute. I'm confused though. Are you taking a young man to his prom? He gets to go with you, or it's either a young man or a young, young female. What it is is I have a lot of I do have a big high school, junior high school following. Yeah, of course. So um, when I did it last year, it made such a noise, and I didn't even promote it. That I was like, you know what? Let me do it again, but you know, do it bigger. And VH1 sign on board. Um, the Nicki Minaj collection sign on board. So now what we're doing is we're basically taking the cameras, crashing the prom, and I'm gonna bring a celebrity guest to come and give the kids little goodie bags, um, which is the Nicki Minaj collection. Dope. And then I have, That's fun. and then I also have dead stock, you know, for the guys, you know, to give them stuff as well. So you're not gonna wear the dress you have on right now because I don't think a young man could deal with that <laughs> as prom, yo. No, I'm definitely not gonna wear that. I think you should cover that, that up. I'm not gonna wear that, but I, I'm thinking maybe I could recruit Laura or somebody. I would love to. That'd for the be kids, cool. that's that would way be amazing. too much big boobs in one setting. So that's for what I'm saying. We're, gonna, we're basically boob. picking a school. That's we're crashing their titty. prom. We're bringing um, free gifts from the Nicki Minaj oh, you're bringing collection. Gifts, all right. um, the her <laughs> collection. Um, we even got um, some sponsors. For how that. do how do people get more information on this? Well, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. At I am Erica Mena. I'm just. Wait, I am Erica Mena. Wait, mm -hmm. I am Erica underscore Mena. Sorry. Um, follow me on Instagram and um, Twitter, and we'll give you the rules and stuff like that. We posted it last week, and the response has been crazy. We're actually getting schools submitting, so. That's hot. It's kind of cool. I got a question. Some of the choices you guys are making at schools. Yeah, me too. Your administrators are like, campus. we need this. But you know what? You can think <laughs> Erica that. Erica Mena come to your campus no, and punch somebody in the face. If you really think about it, I've never once shied away from my upbringing, and I think regardless of what age you are, you kind of relate to the fact that you go hard for yours and when you come from nothing, and I think that's what makes me relatable, whether you're an older or you're a kid. Yo, and, and a lot of the, the kids... Pr principals will be trying to get too close to Erica Mena. No, but like a lot the of the... biology teacher, I get a professor, so-and-so trying to I get a lot of, so -so get a lot of fan mail from, from girls that are like, you know what, it wasn't until I saw Young Love and Hip Hop that I started defending myself in school and now people know I'm not one to be messed with. And it's just putting your foot down and just, you know, being that, you know, just not taking just anything. And I get, I get a lot. I get a lot of girls that no, are like, I'm I was I'm messing bullied. with you. I'm messing. You don't yeah. have to defend yourself. I'm just playing. That I was bullied and this, and I watched one episode of Love and Hip Hop. I just want to say that you would punch a teacher in the face if they swag. got loose at the prom. That's all I'm you saying. Know? We just yeah, don't want that to happen. Yeah, she's coming to the prom with gifts. It's a positive thingy, bro. Yeah, let's focus on all that. Right, all right, I'm positive. <sighs> Erica Mena, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Ebro. All right, we're gonna cut a promo too, real quick for tomorrow. Ebro in the morning. Laura Styles, Rosenberg tomorrow. Laura, who do we have? We have Erica Mena. Oh, yeah. You can't handle my mouth, Flora. Oh, hello. Erica, Whoa. please. Rosenberg, you can't either. Your wife can. Okay. Right. You know what? But Let's... we're going to talk about Bow Wow sex habits tomorrow on the show. Uh, no. Uh -oh. No. His habit is me. Oh, yeah. He's never yeah, had sex. Right. He's Let's never had talk sex about it. Let's talk about it. Tomorrow, Ebro in the morning, Hot 9-7.